I am tired of being anxious. I am tired of being busy. I am tired of my neighbor upstairs who keeps stamping their feet every single day, night, and keeps waking up my baby. I am tired of the grasshoppers that keep crawling off my window. And I'm tired of the praying mantis that keep looking at me every single time. And lastly, I am tired of trying for perfectionism. And I'm done and I'm so tired for doing my exams, my nursing school. Oh my gosh. No one told me that nursing school is going to be this busy. You have a new baby. You've got a family to feed or to think about every single time. And now you have this. What do you call this? I am tired of it. Should I be tired with it, of it? So, I know I'm not funny, but I'm just trying to make sure you like this video. And this is going to be my props from time to time when I'm talking to you guys. And maybe I could sing with it. Oh, hallelujah. And I could use it from time to time. So, so far, if you don't like this video, Stop watching. If you like it, just like, drop a like, comment, subscribe. And today I'm going to be sharing the screens for my different applications that I use when I'm doing my nursing classes at Everett Community College in the U.S., Washington. And I'll be sharing with you uh, because most of, of you guys are asking me, Lucy, how is it going? How is it going? Do let me know. Let us know how it's going. Is it hard? So sometimes I send some of the questions to a WhatsApp group that uh, I'm, that we have with Chico Hope. And people answer. And sometimes some people get to enjoy some coffee. Okay, so. Okay, so I'm done with this. Let's get to business. All right, so I have be sharing with you a screen of the dashboard that we have. It's the new one, especially because I told you guys that that dashboard, I messed up. I didn't register for my winter unit, and now I have to race like a rat and email my professors to make sure that I'm in the winter class. Two have accepted. One is waiting, and I hope she or he agrees because I'm finishing my prerequisites in spring. Spring, yes, spring. Spring is when March. March I'll be finishing my prerequisite and then join nursing school in fall. So let me show you. This is the dashboard where I messed up everything. Oh, am I sharing the screen? Okay, fine. Let me just share this one. Here you go. Here's the first, is this is the new website. It's called the CTC link. So student homepage. This is where you come. Okay, it's opening a different page. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, there you go. Okay, so this is the new dashboard. Um, it has two holes. This is task. It's about school fees. So this is where you get your messages. This is where you get the academic progress. Let's see. Academic progress. It doesn't show much, but I'll show you another one where you can actually see how far you've gone. Like this one is just showing a little bit somewhere. So if we go back to a different place, manage classes, everything like, imagine dashboard camera is so good. So this is fall. The subjects I'm doing, it's, uh, what is the name? My God, this new, it's a new system. So you got to be patient with me. Be patient with me. When it's not written the name of the subjects. Okay, I'll show you another one. Okay, so this is where you see your whatever you're doing for this semester, fall. And now we are, winter is the next semester. So this is where winter is. I've already um, enrolled for some of these subjects. Look at here, this one, humanity, I've enrolled. It's online, online. This one to be announced, you're not sure where you're going. So which class am I missing is a psychology class. And it is closed. You know why? Because I missed the enrollment. This is where I, ha I had to search to enter. 
And guys, see, a list of different community colleges in Washington, Spokane, Spokane, Billingham, Big Bend, Centralia, Clark, Edmonds, mine is Everett, is right here. Everett, Everett, right here. So this is what I had searched, okay? Now we have four options available for psychology. Let me just show you. This is the, one of the units that I haven't been successful to enroll. See, I was supposed to enroll to these two. Okay, I'll show you. You and you click there, and then you see this step. I don't know. I did enroll, add to cut. I didn't go to review it and submit. And now the damn class is closed. It is closed. It doesn't even have a waiting, waiting, waiting time, like five to twenty people. It is closed. I emailed this teacher, but I hope she's gonna see me. I don't know. So so that one is closed, but there's, a, on, there's an open class, which is on Tuesdays and Thursday or Monday and Wednesday. I chose this class Monday and Wednesday, just in case if I don't get this one. I can just sacrifice. Maybe if I'll do it next semester or the, the last semester in spring. So what do you, you go here? You go there. Yes, class availability. Enrollment is 13. Class capacity is 30. So available seat 17. Waiting list capacity 5. Waiting list total zero. Okay, so that's total zero waiting class. Which one is this one? I thought I, I registered for this one. <gasps> Wait, would oh yeah, 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 because we don't have the class is not yet full, so high now waiting list. Enrollment dates, you have different dates here to enroll school, continue, da 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 evo. Enroll um this is a schedule. Um yep. All right, this is a shopping cart. Imagine this shopping cart. Oh, this is where I put these classes and they were all closed. I I just had to pinch myself. I missed out on the classes. Okay, view my classes, view my exam schedule. This one we have for fall. It's it's already going. We already done the, we've already done the exam, so there's upper akuna. Um so basically that's that's for the section. There's the financial account admissions, immunization, attestation, especially if now with COVID, I'm pretty sure they're asking if you've been immunized, um, if you've gotten your vaccine before you go to school, that's it. And of course, for nursing, you have to be immunized, immunized, is that correct? Immunized, you have to be vaccinated. This is my profile, academic records. I think there's, there isn't much, let me see. Um, Oh, finally, yeah, you can see this one. We can see units here. Um, five in progress, in progress. I'll show you a different uh, website where we have a proper lineage for my, like a proper plan for my degree. And then here is where we do our assignment. It's called Canvas. Canvas is where you find different assignments. You see like this semester I was doing these three units. They're like 15 credits. This is like, uh, it's like taking, I think we used to take like five to six subjects when we we're doing our undergraduate in Kenya. So for example, this is anthropology. This is where you, you click there. You see, you, you see all the module teacher, the teacher is trying to post. This is the dashboard. This is where you find the assignments. Like the teacher keeps sending assignments, assignments every time. No, the announcements. And you have to read them. Otherwise, if you don't read, that's it, babe. That's it. If you don't, you miss out. The modules is where we have now. Every week, we have a module here. Week 11 finals. We've done our finals. We've done our exams. And here, we have week 10, final revision. And then where you can easily view your assignment is where the grades are. To view assignments and the grade that you have, you currently have, is this. You see, this is the grade I currently have. My friend, it's, it's not as hard, but it is hard because it's like more content, but it is it is not, it's kind of like, um, on a scale of 1 to 10, it's like if Kenya was a 8, this is a 7. I'm like, if Kenya was a nine, this is an eight. 
so this is 99 but the good thing about this place they give you extra credits especially if they see people students are struggling but this one i don't think it had any extra credit did you have any extra credit so the first assignment was introduce yourself in an anthropology class when you introduce yourself you write in a discussion da, 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 and this and that and that yeah this is me and then you post a picture these are the comments the teacher can tell you oh if you did this or that uh -huh. um again this the basically the assignments keep going okay so as you notice here it is late it was not late this is like when you send your um, assignment and the teacher responds with feedback right here see with feedback and then you end up submitting after the due date so you still have your points but some teachers uh, well this one um you still keep your points of course if you submit anything late even if it's for feedback you don't um get that this is missing because in our syllabus, we were supposed to do seven discussions out of, I think, 11. So I did number one to seven, and then number 10, I didn't do the discussion. Division also, this one is late. That's basically it. I'm using APA, all the instructions, the assignments, quizzes. Let me just go to quizzes. Like this one, I got 13 out of 15. Let's go to this quiz and see how it, it was. Questions are like um, like this one. Like this is a whole assignment with instructions and materials to read. Remember, this is an online class, and that's why um, we have um, these instructions. You don't have to go to class, so you just read the instructions. And also, you have a book, different books that you buy before you even start your semester or during. And this is typically like an, a cut. Let's say a cut. Like I will just show you the weaknesses. I failed this one. This one, of course, it was 13 out of 15, but there were 30 questions. So each question had like 0 0.5 points. Different assignments have different scores, okay? So this is just an example. And how do they gauge you or rate you? They give you different kind of assignment. This one, assignment is 100%. I did everything. Discussion, 100, I did everything. Quizzes, I did. Out of 150, I got 145.50. That's equivalent to 97%. A research project, I did 100%. Reminders, different reminders, I did. And total, when you tally all that, it comes to 99.04. This is a GPO 4.0, by the way, which it's okay, it's nice, but you have to at least continue maintaining it because in nursing school, you've got because it come here because in nursing school you have to have i think it's a 78 percent pass um with all your sciences and everything aggregated together so that you can join nursing school okay it can it, you i mean like there's no second chance for like nurse okay not second chance if you fail a unit just redo it before you even apply for your nursing school but of course, if you pass like this 4.0 GPA and 99, 98, 97, at least you're trying to make sure that even if one subject you get 50, like chemistry, <laughs> I didn't get 50, but if you get, if you fail or if anything happens, your grade doesn't lower completely. Okay. So let's go to the other one. That was anthropology. Let's go to biology. Okay, biology, we have this one. Let's see. So far, biology, the grading is... And this is not even flossing. People are just... People get these results over here. It's just that you... You just... Your effort, you know? Effort, effort. And you want the best for yourself. So why not get good grades? This was a whole nightmare of assignments and assignments and assignments. But luckily, we managed in different labs... Let me show you. Like this one, growing yeast, we we had to do a physical, physical, um, physical labs at home, like doing a lab on your own. Can I get any materials and setup anywhere that the teacher wants to see that you actually did the assignment and you not you did not copy from the internet? 
Let me see. Do I have anything here? Yeah, you see? She wanted, oh, look at this, Mr. Frog. <laughs> That's for my baby. She wanted to see four different glasses, um, yeast, piece, uh, slice of bread, some plates, some, I think this is pow, uh, sugar or something, a dish, and honey. And of course, Mr. Frog right here. <laughs> okay, so here the biology, let's go to um, communication. And I'll show you some of the feedbacks, feedback that we have. Oh, there's also this on this side. Let me show you. On this side, you can see this side. You can actually see like quick feedbacks from the teacher, recent feedback like this one. You notice here in the in this assignment, the teacher wrote it was an assignment about personality and how you how you can manage or how you can influence other people. So you upload it and get different points. So you can view feedback here by saying, like this one, he told me very thorough job on this assignment. Oh, I said, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. In fact, a smiley emoji over there. And it was just like a, a good paper to write. And of course, let me tell you guys, don't ever, don't ever doubt yourself. Let me just tell you people, don't ever doubt yourself. If you think you can do it, just continue do it. Don't wait for it. Just do anything, anything you put your mind into, you can actually do it. Okay, let's go to the third page where we see biology assignments. So this is called Pearson. Excuse me. Pearson is actually a body where almost, I think, all board exams are done through this organization. I don't know who they are. But it is so damn big. It's called Pearson. And let me show you all the completed assignment for this biology class. This, this is different from this, this one. Let me show you biology. Just to, to, just to know the amount of work we get. You see all this, all this, all this, all this. Okay, let's go to the grid. It's much, much more specific. Um, you see all these, all these assignments. All these assignments are different from, from this. But it's the same subject, biology. And we also have another one. It's called semi-text. Let me show you. Um, semi-text. Semi semi-text. When it opens up, I'll show you. Hmm. Let, so here, um, we also did the final exam. I did it yesterday. And here we are. Let me just click here. The final example was, was 95.0.0. Uh, oh, my gosh. Point oh, point oh, yeah, whatever. And these are some of the scores for the whole assignments. Um, it's like, it's like, a, it's like what? Um, a, B, C, D. Let me just show you a final exam. Is this so the total for this assignment, including all these plus the exam, is 97.03. So this 97.03 is going to be added here. Like you see, this one, where is it? It's going to be Pearson. It's supposed to be here. Teacher has not imported. It's supposed to be added here so that it can tally together with the assignment and this canvas assignment and labs so that you can have a final figure to show uh, what percentage you are at. This simul text lab is what we were waiting for. This one. Um, sh I'm going to show you. Mm. Bio. Um, two, one, one. Ah, yeah. This is also another website. It's called Simutex for Biology. This assignment, we also, we had to do all these other assignments. There's this one, there's this one, there's this one. Oh my gosh, Actually, it's usually a lot of work, but you just have to push yourself. This one, this one. It's just a, like A, B, C, D, you know. Um, it's doable, by the way. Don't feel like it's too much work. I have a baby and I have work, so it's doable, especially if you're single and you're whatever in the world and you want to come here my friend it's possible to do it okay so i'll just i want to go to the exam show you an example of um, a question for example 
um, this question. The questions here are like A, B, C, D. Well, yeah, multiple choices, but you have to choose the best choice for that question. There's always like two or three answers that are related to the answer, but you have to choose the best question. So here, when considering the formation of membranes, they form separately, spontaneously, spontaneously in aqueous um, environment. Like you have to choose the best alternative. Okay, we can go to the next one, an example, and see. Imagine that two, you're given a scenario. This scenario is about DNA stuff. So you have to kind of draw, write on it something, and just show the teacher calculations, okay? So other than that, this is a course that was purchased, by the way. When you joined school, like this one was like $75 because the, the school, yes, is telling you it's a community college, so it is cheap overall. But some of these things, they have to make sure you buy yourself you join class so that you can join the class it is possible it's not impossible uh, so past due assignment we don't have any past due assignments we are good so sometimes if you haven't passed really well like for example i've got i got 95 so there's a notification here the teacher does it herself and says consider reviewing the final exam but practicing won't change your score but it can improve your understanding what am i trying to say i'm trying to say some of these um, subjects, the teacher has had, like, if she notices that you didn't pass very well, she puts like a notification and tells you, you can repeat it, but it won't change your score, but she wants to make sure you grasp all the concept that she's trying to teach, teach you or he is trying to teach you, okay? All right, so I will, I can take you to a research project I did for my anthropology class. Um... That's an example. Where is it? Anthropology is here. Um, anthropology, this one. Uh, grade. Mm -hmm. Anthropology, individual research paper. Was it this one? Yeah, this one. You just get different feedback. It is loading over here. And you always get different attempts to do your assignments. So it is doable, it's possible. So I'm just trying to show you, guys, it is possible to get all this, to do some of these things when you come here. It doesn't matter whether you're working, you really live in different kind of jobs. So this is my assignment. My, this was my thesis statement was this one. It was about medical pluralism, pluralism and health in the United States of America. Okay, so my, my thesis was, in this research paper, we acknowledge that alternative forms of medicines or medication are equally important, just like the conventional healthcare methods. While the government is collecting taxes, it should allocate more resources to fund more research into the medical pluralism in the USA and reduce the cost of healthcare, especially for the underprivileged population. The hardest part of this paper was was actually the literature review i i got it but i it has not ripened it had not ripened my friend it had not ripened let me come back the, the literature review had not ripened eh? but i did my best and i got the grade i got and i'm like i'm done i'm done so I just want to let you know that it's possible when you come to school over here or when you just come, different kind of visas that will enable you to go to school, just go advance yourself. You don't have to create, um, you don't have to create excuses and say, oh, it is, it is impossible, I am too old. You know, those kind of things. And lastly, I just wanted to let you know, I just discovered, not discovered, the one of the culture shocks I received, I received, I I experience in this country is this thing. Do you know what this is? This is actually a can opener. Like this thing blew my mind off. A can. I have a can. This is Ishinejahe. Ishinejahe. This is Njahe. <laughs> this is Njahe bush. It's called bush beans. Like in bush black beans. Because in Awanga. Tamu. They are so tamu. They're so delicious. They're so nice. This one's oh. 
So what you do, instead of being boring with this kind of education stuff, why not give you more contents like this one? So this, you just press here on the scanisha, and then you, you, I did it. Oh, I did it. I didn't want to open it. You just do it and then go round and round. And it's going to take off all the metal part, the, li the liquid, liquid, the lead part. And it's, uh, and it's possible. Do let me know if you want. If you're interested in any of these things, like this one, please buy it. It's convenient. Instead of using this kawaida way. Remember when we were using these things like this? Like, guy, who does that? Who does that? Who does that? It is in our world that we do that. We were taught to open cans with a knife. But when you come here, and this is the beauty of coming to a different country, guys. You learn different things. You get to understand how life goes on, how people make their life easy, and how else they can try, make some money, and advance their careers and life and you wonder sometimes you wonder you like you drive uh, down the road and you're like you're looking at these houses you're like how much how much money did these guys buy this house you wonder which kind of what kind of jobs do they do you wonder what can you do to at least um improve your circumstance like improve your income improve your mental stability improve your finances improve your relationships you know and you're looking at this other person and you're wondering how did they do it but you don't have the um the the you don't have the access to all these things but you have to try to go closer to it you know like take a step ahead try start something go to events where people are actually a meeting and they're discussing about um, whether it's entrepreneurship or whatever you're interested. Some of these things, because for me, this education thing, I, I, I love it as much as it is so hard. It's challenging. But what's life if we don't do any challenging stuff? What is life? What does life have to offer if you don't challenge yourself in doing great things and new things? Why not do it? Why not do it and get some money out of it and imp you know, like get a business out of it or a, a YouTube channel. Like I keep telling my friends and the people who know me, if you guys can talk to people or if you can do something, if you love doing it, something, share it on YouTube. It is a, an evergreen platform where you can earn money, earn passive income, create a pool of cash that you can invest in property and assets. Oh my gosh, guys, the journey ahead is just marvelous like i can see it i can manifest it i can see it i can feel it and i want to take you with me through this journey okay come with me step by step keep um subscribing and liking this video and i want to share with you these steps basic steps on how you can actually ace like this life and try your best and i'm not saying these opportunities came from 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 like from mana guys i'm like a typical of example of from rags to riches if you sit down with me i tell you my whole story you'll be like what what are you serious what that happened what i didn't know that about you but i didn't let my past drag me back okay and i am here to let you know guys it's possible just apply to the schools that I showed you. I, sh I I have a video that I showed you that you can actually apply to some of the schools, whatever, whether you're international, you can apply for scholarships, you can apply for all these things that will en enable you to get a good life, okay? And this is my parting shot. If I can do it, you can do it. And you're probably not from rugs to riches like I am, but it's just to tell you that it is possible what your mind can perceive you can hold it in your hands keep chasing for greatness and i wish you the very best in your entire life god bless you i'll see you in the next video bye bye Hi.